What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we will be having a look at this price table we just brought out. You can use it in many cases and you can show customers their different packages you're offering in your store. Definitely applies very well in the tech store or whatever you actually prefer to use it as. Alright, the first thing I did for that was heading on over to the Shopify app store and getting the section store app. It's a free app just to let you know. And then I opened up the app in the Shopify admin area on the left bottom corner right here. And then you can just type in pricing table. The one I used for this tutorial is this one right here. I already own this section, but for you it's going to be a one-time charge of $9. That means if you bought that thing once, you're going to own it forever. No hidden subscription fees or anything. You're not going to need a developer to code that for you. And you can customize it to your likings as well. All right. After successfully doing so, you can head back to the home area of the app where you can simply find the section right here before you can use it. You have to add it to the theme you're using. I guess it's the Dawn Light theme. And then just click on that and it's going to be installed for your theme. And then you can simply open up the theme you're using right here. Dawn Light theme in my case. Then simply hop on over to the editor. That's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. For the sake of this tutorial, which is going to hide it for a second. So that's the one we saw. Let's give that a little hide. It's also a section which is brought out, but I'll do a separate video about that one too. So let's hide that too. Do not get confused. Let's add the section up. Pricing table free. That is the one we are looking for. Already opening up. Perfect. So one thing I want to show you straight away is that there are actually two blocks which are a little bit different from each other. So you can select it here. If you click on one of the blocks, you can add a little bunch up here as well like the most popular for example and I'm just gonna type in something like example and it should appear up here yeah perfect but I um, don't want that in this case and you can also decide if it will be an active card or not so if I select this it also will have the same design conditions as the other one but I want it to be a, an active one because this one is getting highlighted so the most popular downloaded one is getting the most focus and attention on. You can change pretty much everything in that whole thing and even put something on the link like a shop cart buy button and yeah you can change the text as well by starter it's do by beginner so you can just see it's updating a life already. That is looking good and you also wanna change that so it's kinda say beginner and the price let's say is 19 so pretty much everything here is changeable. Alright so much to that that's how you can change the block itself and now i'm gonna go back to the one you just saw in the beginning of the video so i can show you how you can do changes to the whole block itself so you click on the thing right here and here we can change the headline so same as here all the updates will be live you can use a custom font as well so i use the just for instance here but if i want to have a different one i can just select that the size is changeable as well so on mobile as on headline as well and then pretty much all the sizes here are changeable and you can even use a subheading right here as well the table gaps like the little distance between the tables is changeable as well you can add paddings to the cards margins and all the sizes like i said already are changeable as well but i'm not going to get into detail too much because those are customization things you probably want to spend some time on and make it want to fit to the rest of your store all right, sweet. I'm just going to scroll down. You can even add some icons to the cards here as well, which can appear on top right here. I'm going to go all the way down so we can see the colors. So we could pick a different headline color right here. Let's just stick with that one. And also the background and all the card backgrounds are changeable as well. And as you can see here, pretty much everything has a changeable color and customization option. And yeah, just one more thing I want to change for the sake of this tutorial is maybe the background color of the whole thing. So let's spice it up a little bit. Let's save it all up, have a look at it in the live version and call it a wrap. Let's get that a little reload. That's the live version of the store. One, two, three. And it is looking good. Let the fonts load up as well. And that's how you can easily install a pricing table to your very own Shopify store in less than five minutes. And hope that was useful for you guys. And if it was, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And if you have suggestions about videos we should make in the future, just drop them in the comment section. With that being said, have a good one and peace out, guys.